Must be inside 50. So it spreads it out. We want the talent to shine. Ruckman Perella. He's uh, 200 centimetres and was playing tennis up until two years ago. So he's another one that's chucked in there of the matchup of now Shaq and Francis. I know we uh, spoke to a couple of recruiters in the corridors at half time and they uh, really look making the jump to AFL footy is always a great leap. Uh, but some of these some of these young men. Agostino combining with Jew got it to Bonner who straightens yeah, them up and he does kick. use the ball well, Bonner. And he puts it out in front of uh, Mason Redman. That's what he's really good at, Bonner. If you give him time and space, he's a, he's a beautiful left foot kick, and he's one of those rare left footers that actually kicks it just as well on his right. Uh, that is rare. That is rare. <laughs> but you can, you can see then, when given a little bit of uh, room, he's, he really misses a target. Yeah, that's perfect there. Just a little shimmy there to pop it out in front of Redmond. So South Australia want the opening goal of the quarter, and it's a real good opportunity for Redmond here. Not a difficult kick, really. 30 metres out. And he likes it and he kicks the goal. So the trend of goals to the right of screen continues and South Australia get the opening goal and they get the margin back to a workable one of 24 points. And Redmond's a boy from Glenelg Footy Club. The three goals against Vic Metro really caught the eye. Looked impressive that day. Um, really classy type of boy from Concordia College there in, in Adelaide. About a 187, so a six foot two. -er. Um, yeah, one of those medium forwards that's uh, got the smarts around the goal area. With Bonner. Uh, most of these boys are still at school, and uh, Kevin mentioned earlier, Jonty's only 16 years old. He's at um, Emmanuel College in South Australia doing year 11. Last week. Bounce favours McKenzie. Tried to flip it over the top there, but it does come out to Redmond eventually. Caught. Good tackle. McKenzie. Uh, Dicko, beautiful handball from Tahana to release Snelling. Pulled the kick. That is a very clever kick to find Mason Redmond. And they'll get another chance here, South Australia, to get it around that three goal mark. Just going back to the point I was trying to make before the Shaki uh, mark and goal, or mark and point. The, the young defenders, Collins, we see it yep. with Francis, we see it with Weider, and they all back themselves in the air. Is yep. that a coaching philosophy at, at the junior level? No, it is, definitely. And I, I think we're seeing a lot more of these younger players get, get um, uh, watching a lot more AFL senior football. And the, the beauty of that is they go to games, they track players, and they're learning how to play the modern game um, the way it should be played. And a lot of these defenders now are playing in front. And... Uh, I guess back 20, 30, 40 years ago, it was always as, as a defender, you, you play in behind your man. But now we see the modern day footballers, uh, Shifter mentioned before the way Harry Taylor plays at Geelong at this, at this very ground. Uh, they certainly play in front a lot more than what they used to. Nice finish by Redmond, kicks the goal. So um, I know that time will probably beat them, but they're at least within touch, 19 points. Well, three goals to one in the last quarter. Stalling's game's been outstanding, 19 disposals, yep. he's had 12 tackles. Uh, and Redmond's been pretty busy this afternoon as well. Level in the sand for, but yeah. he looked like he's uncertain of uh, his routine for having a shot at goal. Yeah, yeah, no routine. Taken by Redmond, he's had a good last quarter. 